Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a hat box arrangement and this will be suitable for all occasions all year round whether it's a gift for happy birthday, happy anniversary, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, even Christmas or sure listen if it's just even a gift for yourself. So first of all what materials will you need and if you want to grab yourself a notebook and pen and you can take notes as we go along. So the first item you're going to need is a hat box and you can purchase these in your local flower shop but also a lot of the department stores they sell a full range of hat boxes. To fit down inside this particular hat box I'm going to use this plastic bowl. This is called a bulb bowl and this will help to keep it fresh because it's going to hold water. Into the bulb bowl I'm going to use a half a block of the floral foam. I've already soaked this floral foam, you can soak it in water Obviously again you will buy that in your local flower shop and it's a half a block of floral foam that you're going to use. To secure the floral foam into the centre of the bulb bowl you will need a little item here which is called a frog's leg and stuck to the end of the frog's leg is kind of like green stuff that looks like blue tack but it's green and this is called Oasis Fix. So what you're going to do is peel that off the back of it roll it around in your hands, make it soft and pliable, the heat of your hand will make it soft and pliable into a little ball, stick it to the end of the frog's leg and then you can press that down into the centre of the container. When it gets cold it gets hard and the Oasis Fix is also waterproof. So what you then do is you can get your half block of floral foam, place it down on top of the frog's leg, press it down there securely you can put anchor tape across it, but with the design of this particular hat box, it's nice and deep, so I feel that we won't actually need to tape across it to hold it in place. What you can then do is you can fill the plastic container up with more water, and that will help to prolong the life of your hat box arrangement. So that's just going to drop down into the hat box for later on. Now, material wise, I'm going to use some foliage. So this is fresh eucalyptus. Well, you could substitute this for pittosporum, depending on what's in season and what's available. And with a sharp scissors, you're going to cut the foliage up into pieces or lengths approximately 20 centimetres. There will be some of them a little bit shorter and some of them a little bit longer. You'll see there, I never measured them. I just kind of make them rough guess and cut up and you'll probably need about 20 sprigs of foliage in total. Some of you may use a little bit more and some of you may use a little bit less but it's always good to have a few extra ones just in case. Now this particular hat box I'm going to use artificial or faux flowers. So what I have is this little bunch of um, ranunculus flowers or protea flowers and they're absolutely beautiful they are and they're available in a full range of colours. Now they do come as a bunch like that, they are hard to cut up. So sometimes when I send them out to the students, I have them already cut up, you see, as individual flowers. You just need a sharp scissors or a wire cutters because there's a wire inside each of these plastic stems. So in, in, within that bunch, you know that way, you're going to get 10 flowers in total. Eight of them will be kind of like decent sized heads and two of them are kind of like buds. So that kind of makes it very realistic looking. So there's our two little buds there. So that's our little bunch of faux flowers, but again, you can substitute them and you can use something different. To give it another little bit of texture, I'm going to add in a little bit of dried flowers, okay? And again, the dried flowers are very much on trend at the moment, but if you prefer to leave them out, that's completely up to you. As a little extra in the display, I have a nice little bird, you know the way, and again, it depends on the colours of your accessories, do you want to add in the little bird? So, the last thing that we need is a lollipop stick. And um, these are like waxing sticks, so if anybody goes to their beauticians to get a bit of waxing done, these are the sticks that they use. But again, otherwise you can go to the likes of Mr. Price and they sell the lollipop sticks. So what I'm gonna do first is using the lid of the hat box, is I'm gonna place the lollipop stick on it and I'm going to secure it with a little piece of cello tape, okay? Now again, you could use any type of tape that you happen to have, just make sure that's nice and secure to hold it in place. Now that might look a little bit unsightly, but it is going to be covered with the foliage and the flowers later on. Instead of sticking it on the front of the box, some people might like make, sorry, might like to make a little slit in that area of the lid and put the lollipop stick up there 
or other people might like to use a wire. It's completely up to yourself. So using the lollipop stick, I'm going to now secure the lid down into the box, just see like so. So now I'm going to work around the lid and the box while I'm making my display. So get your pieces of foliage and maybe your longer pieces. Do you remember I said when you're cutting them up, you may find that some of them are a little bit longer than others, okay? So with the longer pieces, and before you insert any piece of foliage, make sure that there's no leaf at the very bottom. And have the foliage cut long enough that when you stick it down into the floral foam, that it's kind of slightly coming up over the edge of the hat box. Now again, you can have it exactly the same height. You can have it barely coming over the edge, or you can have it coming a good bit over the edge. I like to use a mixture, you know what I mean? And that way then it's not too structured. So work around the edge of the hat box, inserting each of the pieces of foliage. And as I said, keep them close to the edge of the cardboard. So as you're kind of sticking them in, sometimes it's easier to insert them slightly angled, you know that way. So you may not be going into the exact edge of the floral foam. Maybe you're kind of aiming a little bit towards the middle and that way then your greenery will kind of like rest over the edge of the box. If you decide to use a different type of foliage, because it obviously depends on what time of year it is, maybe it was Christmas and you want to use holly and spruce, maybe it's for a wedding and you decide to maybe use ivy, you know that way, that's a great thing is you can use absolutely anything. And where the little lollipop stick is coming up on the hat box lid, I'm just going to add in a couple of little short little pieces there just to help camouflage it, you see just in that area. But also check around the back of the box. You see where the back of the lid is. And again, you can insert a couple of little pieces of foliage kind of down there. Sometimes it kind of takes a little bit of manoeuvring just so that you can reach the actual floral foam because the lid of the box may be in your way. Hold your hand on the lid of the box just so that you don't kind of like push it out all together. And you can add in little pieces of foliage down there. Now we're not finished. Back around to the front again. With some shorter pieces of foliage that you have, you can then start adding foliage in the centre of the arrangement, the centre of the floral foam. So maybe stand one up in the centre and then around the middle area, like any shorter little pieces, you can start sticking them in on a slant. If some of them is a little bit longer, absolutely no problem at all. Just stick all your pieces in. Don't overdo it in saying that because we're using artificial flowers, they go into the floral foam no problem at all because there's a wire on them. Now the foliage will stay fresh for at least 12 days and maybe a little bit longer if the room you're storing it in is that little bit cold. And if you need to keep the foliage fresh for longer than that, if you store it outside, now obviously not in the hat box, you know that way, but maybe in a bucket of water, if you store it outside, it'll last for absolutely ages. So there's our little arrangement and it's greened up with just the eucalyptus. And the scent of that is amazing. Now we're going to work with our artificial flowers. So as I said, in this particular bunch, I had eight of the larger heads and I had two of the smaller heads. So I've used the larger heads to start with and then I will work onto the buds and uh, I'll use them kind of as a little bit of filling in and then I will start working on the dried flowers. So have a look at them and if one of them, these are artificial, so most of them look kind of quite similar. But if one of your flowers looks a little bit larger or nicer, kind of place that in the center area of the arrangement. Can you see like that? And then kind of work from the center towards the outside. So again, leaving a little bit of space, maybe place another little flower there. And then leaving another little bit of space, place another little flower there. Like kind of be very kind of casual about it. And the thing is at the beginning is not to have the flowers tipping off each other. Like leave a little bit of space and then if you have any extras left over, you can always go back at later and kind of fill in. Again, working in behind there, I just kind of feel I need another one. Working over to the side, I can get another one in. Working in here, I can get another one in. And um, like at this stage, you can see it's getting kind of pretty full. I'm gonna, this one's a little bit longer, the stem, so I'm just going to like let it kind of trail over the side. So all these stems are sticking into the floral foam, but you can see the way the different lengths on them. I'm going to move that one in just a tiny bit, like you get away with a little bit less. And again, this nice longer stem, I'm going to let that one kind of tray a little bit over the edge. So do you see the way I'm trying to avoid the flowers kind of tipping off each other? That's really, really important. Now I still have these two little buds, you know that way? Again, if you don't need them, you can leave them out. Or we have a little bit of space, you can add them in. There's a little bit of leaf kind of coming up around the bud. And what you can do, do you see the way you can push that up the stem? And again, it kind of avoids the petals of the flowers tipping off all of the other flowers. So that's my 10 little flowers being used up 
in my hat box arrangement and again you could leave it like that but I just kind of feel for a little bit of texture a couple of little dried flowers would be nice so I'm going to cut the dried flowers around the 20 centimeters now these are just like kind of a wheat if you bought a packet of wheat mix for your breakfast you'll see this is kind of similar you know what I mean to what would be on the back of it so again we just cut up these and these are dyed this colour. Anybody that's maybe living in a country area, when it comes to the summer, watch for all the farmers with their fields. And you can go out and you could grab yourself a few of them. They'd be kind of more of a kind of a creamy, natural colour. And you could use them that colour. Absolutely gorgeous. So again, there's a nice strong stem on these. So I'm now just going to insert these in between the artificial flowers. And all it's going to do is give us another texture. Now, the dried flowers are kind of a ready wine sort of colour where my faux flowers are kind of more of a cerise pink and the box is an aubergine colour. But the thing is, you get away with using lots of different shades. Once all your shades are similar, you know what I mean, and they complement each other, you'll get away with it. But when it comes to colours, I always find it's personal choice. And some people might like a colour and other people would say, good, no, it's not their cup of tea. And that's absolutely fine. We put lots of tutorials on our social media pages and hopefully you will find something in a colour that you like. Anybody that's watching, if you have any questions at all about this tutorial, just place it in the comments below and I'll definitely get back and I'll respond to you. If you're interested in maybe training here at Kay's Flower School, all you have to do is just drop us an email to info at flowerschoolireland.com. I'm just going to stick a couple of these little dried flowers to see into the back of the arrangement, just because I have them left over. And again, if you want to purchase any of the materials, you will be able to go onto our website for like the likes of the Oasis, the Frog's Legs, or even the um, Bulbuls. And go to our website, flowerschoolireland.com, and under Floral Sundries, you will be able to find them. The artificial flowers and the dried flowers, you will be able to purchase them yourself from a wholesaler in RD County Loud called Evergreen Silk Plants. Again, I'll put the link in the comments below. And I um, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'd really appreciate if you interacted with us, gave us a thumbs up, maybe put a comment, tag your friend, and we'd really appreciate if you could share this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Jeanette and I'm from Case Flower School.